Hi there, I am Jobel Wintrot and this is the Amijo Show. I am interviewing over the next few weeks, even months maybe, uh, some experts in their field who can offer something that is a very personal nature and just share their story of what's happening right now in this unusual situation and also some expert advice. And I'm super thrilled to have the woman, the, the wizardry behind my rebrand that I did two years ago that gave me such a shake up, it's untrue, but the most powerful things I've done with my business. Um, and this is Sat Napiro, all the way from just down the road from me in Ealing. He's <laughs> <laughs> in my house. So. <laughs> and and on your um, on your Zoom, as she says, Andy Piro. So <laughs> oh, I think we've um, we've lo I've logged in onto his because he's got the group one. So I've been used, doing some group calls earlier. So, yeah. so this is Sat Napiro, and Sat is Inner Visions ID. And um, I'm thrilled because you, uh, Satna is a very good friend of mine and also, like I said, just an amazing brand agent. Hello, Satna. Hello very much. Uh, oh, hello very much. Uh, my mind is already completely lost, um, you know, working from home. It's juggling and, kids and um, how, how are you doing anyway? Well, yeah, I, I just had a 20 minute break between tutoring and, and uh, for lunch and also had a call with um, an audible voiceover artist so in 20 minutes, I, I managed to call with her, make my lunch, cup of tea, bathroom run, obviously, bit of lipstick and on with you. Yeah, this is just really? yeah. home working, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. so, I've, been, I've been juggling kids and husbands. I was, I was saying my husband's um, up, up in the office uh, uh, making his calls and then got my kids in, in the lounge um, doing some drawing um, under pain of death of not to come in and, and interrupt me. And um, we'll see how that goes. And I'm stood in the kitchen because they left the dining room in too much of a mess for us to record there. So uh, ah, we're, we're just uh, keeping on, keeping on, aren't we, at the moment? We are, we are. And just, you know, adjusting. I think adjustment is the key word and just kind of, you know, just having an awareness of things. But, you know, mistakes happen. I was doing a video the other day and my dog, um, she was like having none of it. She's like, no, I need to see my mum now. So she was scratching at the door, whimpering away, and I thought, oh gosh, I'm just going to have to deal with it. She just yeah. won't go away otherwise. But you know, that's my kids are older, so it's slightly easier. They do just, you know, they, they, <laughs> they don't see them. They quite enjoy not being seen, yeah. But um, but you right. that's pretty good for teenagers, isn't it? If they're up already, so yeah. Oh no, they well we forgot it was half it was holidays, so they got up early. Um, well, I got them up early and then I said, oh, actually, hold on a minute. Oh gosh, it's Easter holidays. <laughs> holidays. <laughs> but my boys are trying to wriggle out of activities, but we need to keep them doing stuff just so we can work, so. Yeah, yeah. And how's that going? Because there's lots of, you know, lots of resources flying around, but are, your, are the kids' school being helpful with stuff to do? Um, uh, we haven't had anything from the school, but the... Um, the, the line things I think they're going to be starting after the Easter holidays with some BBC sound bites sort of things or learning but I don't know what it is something to do with BBC um, but so far they've just sort of said you know don't worry about it we'll we'll get them to catch up when they get back so um, I mean my kids are luckily not in key years you know um, yeah. um, Luke's in year five and Leon's in year two um, and they're both bright boys so I think they'll be okay but we're we're keeping a little bit of online stuff going on and you know, as I say, more for our sanity so we can get some work done too, so. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, just let you know, I don't know if you saw my video from the other day, two teachers, I had teachers on. I've had uh, some teacher yeah, sessions. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, there's a teacher called Susan Stillman who's offering online drama lessons if you want some. So oh, she, okay. she's doing drama tuition and, because um, I think that's what, that's what all the teachers should be doing is saying, actually, you know, if you're organised within the, the, the school, then, um, then yeah, provide yeah. some online teaching why not well my kids um football clubs and uh footy farm for kids and um shinrai karate um the, the wonderful christina are doing our whatsapp uh tutorials every day like lessons and so the boys are doing football and karate uh, practice so so that's really good that is amazing value oh my gosh yeah that's why i gave them a little plug <laughs> they've been brilliant you, yeah no definitely that is incredible that they're offering that so say it again because i didn't quite catch it what they called for the kids for the boys uh for, the, for their uh, football and um shinrai karate with um christina the amazing christina so she's been doing videos and they've both been doing videos every day to keep the kids motivated and um and keep training so it's oh, it, that, that it's is incredible. really inventive i think um in this period of lockdown so that's what i'm finding really interesting and exciting at the moment yeah no i think you're right it, it, it's if you think if you can let yourself think outside the box 
and just think, right, okay, what can I do differently? What, can, what skills can I pull on? Um, this technology is here. I mean, goodness me, this is like almost a TV show I'm running for my sofa right now. It's bonkers, really, but it's, it's just amazing. And everyone... The TV shows are running them from the sofa now. If you, if you tune into any of the, you know, yeah. shows at the moment that would normally be live, they're all going on in their lounges. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's great. It is amazing. It's there to be used, isn't it? So um, before we came on, on the recording, obviously you had mentioned that you've got this uh, key statement from Jeff Bezos that you've been using, which is it's like so, so key for your, because as a brand agent, obviously, you know, your brand, your identity, your values and, and all of that matters no matter what is going on. Yeah, well, the quote, the quote that Jeff Bezos famously said, I think it was his TED talk in 2012, was that you're, um, your brand is what people say about you when you're not in the room. And right now, nobody's in the room. So, um, you know, we're all working in isolation. We're in our own rooms, but we're certainly not in a room with our clients. Um, so, um, so I think at this time, um, you know, brand is, is going to become more, more important when you're not in front of people to be able to represent yourself in your own business. Um, and especially if you're a people person like I am, um, that's going to be quite, you know, quite a challenge. Um, if your brand isn't on point um, and isn't saying the right thing. So um, we're looking at starting a, a, a workshop in the next couple of weeks, taking business owners through, um, you know, understanding what brand is. Um, and a brand is not just a logo, as, as you know, um, it, you know, there's a whole set of, of things around that. So we'll be looking at each part of that in detail um, over the next few weeks. So um, yeah, that's, that's, that's really how I want to be, be helping business owners. It's going to be free. It's going to be free because I just want to, just want to help people at this time yeah no that's fantastic i think that's really really helpful because you know it is it does all matter it doesn't because there will be a, a, a point where we come out of this situation um and then if you can set yourself up as someone who's giving great value and and really consistent with your brand message it'll be much easier wouldn't it to come out the other end yeah. um can i give my book a plug of course you can <laughs> so let's get visible so, well, I could, I, I could have given you your book a plug. It's on my bookshelf because it's well, yeah, brilliant. We can, give it, we can give it a double plug if you like. We'll, um, we'll, do, a, we'll do a picture in a minute. We'll do a, a joint yeah, selfie. We'll do a double selfie. Um, yeah, no, the, book, the book came out in January. Obviously, we didn't know that any of this craziness was, was going to be happening. Um, but, um, you know, I've been a brand consultant, um, well, probably for the last four or five years. But, I've had, but it's, it's a summation of 25 years of my experience in, um, in the design world, in marketing, in advertising and in media. So I've worked with lots of um, big brands, um, you know, national brands and international brands and help them get their message across, um, um, you know, brands like Sony Ericsson and uh, BMW, Mercedes, uh, Selfridges. So um, just helping them get their message across and engage their audiences. Um, and for the last four or five years, I've been working exclusively with entrepreneurs and business owners um, and have taken that experience and and kind of you know condensed it in this book, um, which is available on, our, on Amazon. Um, but so yeah, that came out in January. It got to number one um, four times over, which was kind of quite nice. And it won. It recently book a, a, won a book award at the Business Book Awards. So um, for startup inspiration, although it's good for established businesses as well. So um, so the uh, workshop that we're doing is going to be taking you through um, the first third, first half of my. Um, uh, vision process. So I've got I've got a process which I take my clients through, um, and it's V I S I O N, um, and um, and it's the first three parts which are more the brand strategy, because um, I always work with my clients to get their brand strategy in place before we start designing. So there's no point sort of going, oh well, I like this typeface or I like this color, um, or you know that that I've had a logo done and that will do because. Um, if it's not actually supporting your business goals and your business ambitions, then it's not helping you and it could actually be harming your business if it's, if it's sending out the wrong messages. So it's about getting um, business owners to understand what, what is included in, in you know, the area of brand, which is much more than branding. Um, and as you know, Joe, because you're, you, know, you, you work with personal brand, there's a, there is a lot of crossover um, in what I do and what you do. They're complementary, I would say, rather than um, crossing over. Yeah, and it's what people see um, is going to make that first impression. Um, I saw one of your videos the other day where you were talking about making sure you're wearing the right things when you appear on camera and 
even um, you know kind of even if you're just having a zoom camera you know session with a, with a client it's important to, to sort of dress and I, 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 I don't do that thing where you only dress from the waist down or from the waist up because I just kind of think you have to you have to wear the whole outfit to get in that mindset um, and it's the same with your branding for your business you know it's not just about that pinnacle that that logo which is the most visible part it, your, your brand has to go um, you have to work with the fundamentals of things like, you know, your brand um, vision, your brand values, um, you know, get the brand voice right. And it's, there's all these layers. And I always say, like, it's like a pyramid um, and the logos at the top um, or like a, a, more like an iceberg. But if you, there's so much more under the surface that you don't see, but that supports that visual stuff that you can. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, it, and then then it creates this incredible impact because uh, funny enough, I was doing a tutorial earlier talking about it's just that you know, about, and, and I think she's going to be coming your way as a client because, you know, obviously you're one of the best in the field, um, but no, you are amazing. And, and I was just saying, you know, talking about the whole wearing pajamas whilst wearing a, a jacket and a, a shirt and a tie maybe, but it just, it all impacts how you feel about what you're saying and how you feel about yourself, especially for entrepreneurs, especially for businesses that are trying to be progressive right now and keep going. And if they're in anything that's like customer service, like we, you've got to, bring all that aligned haven't you got to get all that ready and because it all impacts on if I'm sat here in my pajama bottoms now I'd be sat differently I'd feel differently yeah. um, it'd be nice but it doesn't work so you know you've got to you've got to it's got to come from deep within it's got to come from the ground up hasn't it is what you're yeah, saying I mean I'm doing these um one day branding workshops which um you you experienced Joe, when we when we worked together yeah. Um, and where I, I help an entrepreneur get to the real nub of their brand and, and develop their brand. In fact, the whole morning is strategy and then the afternoon is design. And, um, you know, and I've had to move these days online very quickly um, over the last two weeks. And I wasn't sure if they'd work or not, um, you know, because as I say, I'm a very people person and, um, I, you know, the, the day is kind of a bit more of an experience without giving anything away. Um, because, you know, when people actually book it, it's, it's quite an experience. So um, I, was, well, I can't translate that into, into something Zoom online, but, I, but lo and behold, it has worked. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of quite pleased about that because that means that the one day branding workshops can continue. Um, and if you're interested guys, then get in touch, um, okay. finding out more about that. But um, the, the other thing that I found was, you know, I, again, I, I dress as if I was going to work, as if I was going to work for the whole day. I might be barefoot because, you know, I'm upstairs in the, in the office but um, for comfort, but I, I just need to feel put together and in that right professional frame of mind um, because I am working with a client. And, um, and as I say, it's the same with, with, your, with your corporate identity, with what you're putting out there. If you're not, if your brand isn't on point, then it could be sending out the wrong message. Um, if you are pivoting your business at the moment and starting to bring it more digital, if you've been a, more of a traditional business maybe, or you've been working more in person and you're now trying to um, you know change your products or services but your branding staying the same um, and your brand looks the same and the communication um, hasn't really changed that much then you're not sending out that powerful message that your, your business has changed it gives the first impression that nothing has changed so branding is a way of once you, you know when you when you freshen up your your look and it doesn't have to be a massive uh, overhaul it can be just freshening up and a tweak and just making it more modern um for you know for, for the next you know decade or for then you know even the next few months really um but it's just freshening up and people is enough to make people take notice and if they notice that something's it's like oh have you had have you done something nice with your hair or you know something's different and it makes people pause that a little bit longer um on your social media or on the output that you're putting out and um, but, you know, obviously, if you go for a more, more radical rebrand, then you're going to get even more attention. So, um, so I just think at this time when people are thinking about their businesses um, and adapting them, they should also be thinking about the brand and the brand messaging and the, and the, and the look and feel of their brand um, as they want to try and communicate a different message. Yeah, no, definitely. Really, I think it's and those companies that make the effort now in this difficult time, I think we'll, we'll, we'll see dividends sort of moving forward because they will have kept that audience um you know because it is it is a challenging time isn't it yeah so, yeah i i haven't you know i mean obviously different businesses have been impacted um and i don't i don't know what the effect has been so far on on your business show i think you're you're probably still quite busy with them doing consultations aren't you 
um, yeah. which is which is great, um, you know. And um, and for me, I've not felt the impact quite yet. Touch wood, um, and hopefully we'll be able to ride the storm. If anything, um, you know, more people are getting in touch right now because um, I think they're sort of taking time, take stop, taking stock of what needs doing in, within their business. If they've got a bit more time on their hands, they're kind of going, right, well, I need to get X, Y, and Z sorted. And quite often part of that is, is looking at their brand. So, so you know, there, there are a lot of entrepreneurs that are taking this time out now to sort of reflect and see what is it that they want to communicate um, going forward from now. Because yeah. this is going to be very, very different um, after this is over, I think. I don't think it's going to go right back to how it was. No, definitely not. And, and actually it's made us all realise that we can, we can make it work, work from home. Um, oh, talking of which, I can I can book brand I can book brand yeah. as well now. Yes, not, you can. not quite my whole book, but my chapter in remote working. Very thrilled yeah. to have that published last week. Um, and um, I, I, yeah. haven't, I haven't had a chance to read it though. I haven't had a chance to read anything that's not book or <laughs> or but, you know, related, really. So. But yeah. we can we can all work from home. We can we're having to. Even the big corps, you know, a, um, a friend of mine was saying that they're coaching someone who's giving team meetings to two hundred and fifty people. Uh, but you can do it. it. It just takes an adjustment and it takes a, a requirement, and that's why I'm doing. It. So in a way, for people like you and I, it's actually what's well, definitely made me think. Right, what can I do that is online now? What can I give that's online? People can just buy, like instantly grab. And say okay I can give because I've been very much a one-to-one -one person like you so you and I are actually going through a similar journey of becoming much more kind of instantaneous acceptable um accessible sorry of what our skill set is which is really helpful it's actually really good yeah well, it's forcing people to make change which um you know I, I admit I've probably been um sitting back a little bit and kind of thinking well, I don't need to do that but now can we all need to do that so um yeah but I can't recommend your book enough it is epic and I'm not just saying that because you're my friend but, but you're in it as well though aren't you so uh, oh I am in it yes I am in it too I'm, yeah that always nice speak because I have uh, I did get Sapna into red didn't I Sapna you did yes you got me into red I was I was uh, completely a, an addict to black this uh because that's a, 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 I thought it was a very stylish colour, and you, you told me off and told me it was a colour that I was hiding in. So, and then you agreed. <laughs> well, I never looked, well, here I am. Here I am. I, I was actually wearing a, um, I can't remember what I was wearing just before, just before actually. And there you go. It wasn't as memorable. Um, but uh, I, I thought, right, I'm, go I'm going on video with Joe. I better go run upstairs and wear some red. So. Yeah, well, and it's your it's your clear brand colour, isn't it? You know, that's the thing. It's it's just uh, resonant through what you do. Um, but yeah, no, your book is amazing, and yes, I am mentioned in it because um, uh, I've loved working with you. We've been very reciprocal, haven't we, in what we've done yeah. for each other? So, um, and actually, we should really talk about doing something online together as a tutorial, Sapna. Oh yeah, no, I'm still, still trying to find your. Um, oh, I'll, I'll find. I'll find. Do you know what page you're on? Um, no. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I was just trying to trying to flat, flash it up there, but uh, we'll. Oh, you're right at the back. You're on page 198. Well, I think I'm in there twice, aren't I? You kindly mentioned me yeah, twice. Yeah, mentioned earlier, and then you get the case study there. That's. Oh the, yeah, there we go. So there's my rebrand. So look, the before yeah. and after. Oh. The, the, the before's at the bottom for anybody who, who who's not I, sure. I look at that now, and I'm. Oh, it gives me gives me chills. <laughs> so it's like I, I do put it in there because it's a transformation, isn't it? That's what you want to show before and after. It's like it's like a reboot that but with with kind of you know I don't know with fireworks attached it's just incredible it just take, takes your business to a whole new level and it certainly did for me so um, lovely as always to talk to you Sapna thank you for your time today say hi to your husband who's also been a client of mine <laughs> <laughs> yes he has if you oh, want to CPQ up him he could, he's, he's welcome you wouldn't even know what that is and there's no reason why you should it's an IT thing but uh, yeah, no, thank you for having, having me on um, and um, look forward to it, to, to seeing it replayed on, is it going to be on YouTube? Is that where it is? This will go on to YouTube and I will share it on all my social media and uh, yes, it will be on YouTube. Let us know and we'll, we'll share it as well. Um, oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And people can get in touch with your workshop soon. That'd be great. Look forward to it. Take okay. Yeah. Thanks, for, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. There's lots of other uh, videos here on my media show. Um, please comment below 
um, because we like comments, I like to get feedback, um, and also because it helps the YouTube thing. So that would be great if you can do that and subscribe for more videos to come. So thank you for that, Sapna, and have a good day, everyone, whatever you're doing. Take care. Thanks, bye.